My point is, is that we've probably all heard people tell stories, right? You're looking at them and you're not really sure where the story's going or what they're trying to tell you because they're, they're, they're bringing in all these outside, you know, facts and figures into it. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I am not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. <coughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. All right, we can, we can hold off there. All right. So, um, it's good. Can we get a big round of applause? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, take the stage, fellas. Take it away. Hi, I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. Would you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. But would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. Would you? Could you in a car? Eat them. Eat them. Here they are. I would not. Could not. <laughs> not in a car. All right. So we're gonna stop. All right. The, the first guys who did this, most of the time, it's just flat. It's monotone. There's no voice inflection, and you guys actually did a. A, a little bit, um, you know, better job. And, and Travis, right? You, you, you kind of portrayed this resistance, like you were, I'm not going to do this, and it was good, right? And so that's why we do exercises like this to kind of, to really pinpoint a uh, a problem that we see, and then here's a solution for you guys to think outside the box and really start to inject some voice inflection and cadence into what you're saying. So that's the whole purpose and point of doing it.